Folks, my heart is full tonight. This is where it all started. The vision to create a home. A home to learn, to grow, to eat, to drink. Our goal, to be the best, to build one big family. There was not a lot going on here. The, this town was lacking seriously, I think, in uh, not only a number of restaurants, but the quality of restaurants. There was nothing sort of in that price point and sort of accessibility and sort of casualness in a way with table service. And that was the, that was the goal. Once the Rendezvous Bistro opened, people realized there could be an amazing restaurant that is really actually a pretty affordable place to go, which was an absolute home run from the very first day that we opened. There was just an electric current in there every single night. Um, there was never not a line out the door. You know, you just had four people deep in the bar. I'm doing 350, 400 dinners on Monday and you know, not closing until 11 o'clock at night. I think it was just a sense of community it brought you know a lot of locals together and it was a, a place to be seen and, and be social. You know, you went there to go see people. You know, from there, spurred on a lot of babies and relationships or divorces. I don't even know, but yeah, a lot of that. So yeah. <laughs> Everybody just wanted to know Gavin, so he was just a really um, vibrant person to be around. He was young, extremely energetic, and he still is. I mean, he's so energetic, sometimes it makes me tired just watching the guy work. I think the best way to describe Gavin and Roger's relationship is complimentary. Gavin has these really big ideas, and Roger kind of grounds him. Gavin and Roger, it's like a vinaigrette. They're oil and vinegar, but when you shake them up, they turn out to be awesome. The culture at the Rada Bistro was number one. You walked in the door the first day of training. You know, we said this is gonna be a family. See, our main goal was to take care of our employees first and then the customers second. Because if you take care of your employees, the rest will fall into place. Gavin decided a long time ago that he needed everybody else to succeed in order for uh, him and Raj to succeed. And Raj is like the epitome of that. Um, Raj is always putting other people forward. They'll take anybody that's willing to work hard and they'll train them on a station and then slowly and progressively get them up through the ranks to run their own kitchen or business within our company. When we first started this business together, I had no idea that Gavin wanted to rule the whole town of Jackson. We had the bistro for five years by itself, essentially before we opened anything else. We started with a Q restaurant, which was a barbecue joint. That was our second venture. From there, uh, Gavin kind of went crazy. A laundry list of the fine dining businesses, okay. Osteria. The kitchen. Bin 22. Enoteca. Bodega. Roadhouse Pub and Eatery. Bistro Catering. Bovinus Wine. An ice cream company called Cream and Sugar. It's wild. It's, it's really cool. I mean, we've offered a lot of opportunity to a lot of people. For the people who do want to advance within the company, there are so many opportunities, especially as we just keep adding new businesses. You do always hear those stories like the dishwasher that comes in and ends up being the executive chef. I started Bistro Shark and Oysters. Yeah, it's, I'm the chef now. Been with Fine Dining for almost 20 years now. I started at the Rendezvous Bistro as an oyster shucker and then kind of slowly worked my way up through the ranks and became sous chef and then executive chef there and then started Bovine and Swine in 2016. Started working for Gavin in 2008 as an assistant manager. I started out as a hostess uh, back in 2004. He gave me a job busing at the Q Roadhouse. My first job with the Rendezvous Bistro was uh, the bar manager. I am currently the Chief Operations Officer. I oversee all of the financials um, for our company. Director of Operations for the company. I am the Beverage Director for the Fine Dining Restaurant Group. All of these people had passions and 
they were a part of our company forever, so I've just tried to give them all a shot at growing their careers. It's a testament to believing in people and people's potential and seeing it through. He wants to see those people just flourish. My wife is like, you're the only person I've ever met that's only worked for one person for however long it's been. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just every day you wake up, it never, it never occurs that you want to switch it up. Fine dining feels like a family. I feel like every employee that comes in immediately has a network and they have people that care about them. It's like a family, it's like a second, like second home over there. It feels like I have a support system that I haven't had, you know, and that's why I've been in this company for 10 years. Everybody is accountable. There's no, I'm better than you or I'm more special. I was actually just working the other night in one of our restaurants and Gavin was right next to me on the line because they needed someone to help. Project manager this week, uh, dishwasher next week. <laughs> so, one last show. So the curtain closes at 380 South Broadway. I'm not sad at all. I'm just proud, honored to be a part of a team. The feeling I had on the last night of closing the Rendezvous Bistro was an insane mix of emotions. Bittersweet, it was, you know, that, that was a very large part of my, my life in that building. You know, it molded and shaped me to who I am today. It would have been a much tougher pill to swallow if we were just shutting the bistro down and that was that, but there's, there's something new to look forward to. It's a new beginning. We've opened a new restaurant called The Bistro, the artist formerly known as the Ronnie the Bistro. It's a space inside the Cloudvale Hotel right on the town square. We're going for it. Um, classic French, Parisian, sort of even more European. There will be little hints that you can see from Rendezvous Bistro, whether it's the raw bar or a couple of the signature dishes. But overall, it's going to be its own restaurant. It's crazy how the years have gone by. I, I wouldn't think that here 20 years later that I'd be working at the new bistro. I can't even put it into words how proud I am. I mean, it's not only of what we've done, how we've nurtured people along the way. We have really built, hopefully, really cool things for this community to enjoy and visitors to come and enjoy it and trying to build up a, a team that's going to take this cool little hospitality company that's grown from one restaurant into you know, 350 employees and into the next generation. Hope you come and eat with us or drink with us soon.